Aloricham everybody, welcome back to Advo Nurse Nursing Vlogs. For today's video, actually, I would like to talk about some tips and tricks for your nursing studying. So let's start with the first tip and trick for uh, this video. So for the first tip and trick, I would like to talk about a very hard and problematic thing that we are facing in our nursing studying or even uh, if we are nurses at the clinical settings the sign and symptoms memorizing. Like there is a lot of sign and symptoms that we have to memorize for each disease like every time. Um, so I will give you a tip and tricks to make it easier for you to memorize all of these sign and symptoms. Like for, uh, uh, for this tip and tricks you have to gather and matter all the diseases from the same like system like when we are talking about the GI tract system you will after that notice and realize that there is a um, like a couple of uh, system that already happen with uh, all of the diseases at the same system like in the GI tract system there is a common sign of symptoms um, that happen like uh, there is five to six like sign of symptoms like there is the constipation, the nausea, the diarrhea, the vomiting, uh, bloating, and even the abdominal cramping. Like those six sign symptoms are happening like most of the time when some patients like have a disease in the GI tract system. So this is will make it easier for you to distinguish uh, like this patient if he have like a problem in his like GI tract system or cardiac system or even in his CNS uh, system. So for the first, second thing I will uh, give you an advice uh, like if you wanted to be more specific or if you want to distinguish or recognize um, a specific disease from the other disease at the same system you have to just like look for for like a, a specific sign and symptom that make this disease authentic on its own self like uh, if you if we are talking about like GRD uh, the gastroesophageal reflux disease at this disease like there is an acidic reflux that happening from the stomach to the esophagus like um, in a persistent time like more than two times a week at this uh, point the patient will feel with heartburn and a lot of stomach pain so uh, those like two sign and symptoms will make this disease authentic and this will make you realize that this patient actually have a GRRD so this is for the first tip and trick to make the sign and symptoms more easier for you so for the second one the second uh, uh, like tip and trick will be how you can even like memorize all of the diseases and distinguish them from each other's like at the same system like at first you have to bring like a cute small notebook like this one and after that when you like open this uh, book you have to break like each system and break down this system for four parts and categorize them so after that uh, for the first part you have to write about the definition of this disease and how it's already happened and why this disease like happened and the sign and symptoms that we've talked about before like the common sign and symptoms and the most distinguished sign and symptoms like you have to put it with this specific disease like you have to write down all of the early stages of the diseases from the same system after that for the second part you have to write down the complications and what is um, the uh, worsening sinus symptoms after this uh, disease like being developed to be more uh, uh, like even worse or uh, like uh, complicated and uh, even harder on this patient so uh, in this complication part you will be talking about um, the more complicated sign and symptoms, more worsening sign and symptoms, and you will just describe uh, what will happen to the patient uh, patient if you didn't intervene or treat this uh, early stage from this disease. For the third part, you will be talking about the treatment. Like the treatment, like as we know, every disease like have a specific way to treat it, like 
um, giving uh, uh, medications or enhancing diet or even like doing medical management or nursing management that you will be there so that that, that will make this patient may uh, like uh, more aware or like this uh, will help the patient to just uh, get rid of the sign and symptoms so actually for most of you like are wondering how we can even also like memorize all the medications the classifications and how we can deal with all of these medications uh, things like uh, at this point i will be talking about the medication in other video for the next time so, for the fourth part, you will be talking about the nursing outcomes or the most important things that the nurse uh, should be aware of when we uh, like uh, dealing with a specific disease and that we have to just uh, notice these things and we have to take care of these things or to maybe you have to educate uh, about a specific things uh, about a specific disease or about a specific like uh, changing in the daily routine or like we have to make notice or make uh, like um, uh, like we should uh, notice the vital signs or specific things that will uh, protect our patients uh, from uh, getting uh, worse and uh, will make it more will make him or her more comfortable so uh, this uh, this uh, this way like uh, with uh, breakdown this thing for four parts or four categories this will make it easier for you to comparison all of these diseases at the same system with each part on its own like you can compare all these diseases in its uh, early stage so after comparing all of these diseases you will realize the differences between them and uh, what will happen in each um, each stage or in each disease this will make it easier for you to memorize them and this will make it easier for you to uh, just make it stuck in your head so that's for the second uh, tip and trick for today so this is for now this is for this uh, video I hope it's uh, you it will be useful for your studying or even in at your like clinical setting uh, if you like enjoy this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button and hit the bell if you haven't yet and please leave me a comment down below if you want to ask me anything or if you have an idea for my next video so thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoy it I hope it will be useful so please stay home stay safe stay healthy stay um, like think about your beloved one don't be selfish please See you later. Peace.